I'm telling you guys, this tech path is the way to go. I know it's been an interesting and kind of grindy season, but we're definitely going to get you straightened out, so stay tuned. All right, guys, the chicken is here. Back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video, guys, we have the next tech path in sight for you. And uh, yeah, so we made a little bit of progress today. We got up to rank 13, which was tough because we don't have uh, some of the things we're going to go over here in just a moment. Guys, if, if you find these videos do help you out, uh, I do appreciate it if you consider using the code chicken in the shop. If you're going to pick up instant training or anything else for season 19 of Warship. So, all right, let's get into it now. First off, it kind of goes without saying, I, I didn't specifically touch on this, don't don't upgrade mechs, don't use them, don't even play, or, like, if you want to use them for fun, sure, but they're worthless when it comes to winning. Um, Alright, so, moving along here, we have a couple options, and it gets really tricky, and you, once you get into this part of the tech tree, um, kind of right before four engines, there's, there's a few different paths you can make, and a couple I think are huge mistakes right now. So... Out of the gates, if you got here very quickly, if you're able to rank up really fast, getting Barrage was able to propel a lot of people into gold. Um, this season is different because a lot of us are kind of at the same spot, right? There's a lot of, like, the player pool is not like this. It's more like this um, in terms of rank and stuff. So the people that were able to get Barrage uh, got a huge step up. But it seems like Barrage is going to be a short-lived uh, meta. Once we get to four engines, Barrage is not as good. What's going to be good at four engines is having a lot of defenses, having a lot of, uh, having that building damage, um, you know, single target splash damage, just having all the defenses, having them maxed out. That's what's going to be important to get at four engines. So we got, we have a couple options options before we get there though. So the first option is bullet. Um, now again, I would advise against bullet because he's going to set you back from getting to four engines. And getting Bullet right now, he's not as good as Barrage even, so, you know, we're probably going to get him at some point, which is good because he's only one node off of the multi-node that we had to get uh, if you took the bottom path. Um, so he's there, he's there. We can get him later if we need him, but it's probably going to be Kavan and Bombers later on, so I don't think we're going to need Bullet, um, you know, uh, as of right now this season, unless you want to use Seekers, that's a whole other story. So, I would skip Bullet. I would also not get Barrage if... Uh, Basically, by the time that you're watching this video, if you don't have it, it's probably not worth getting because we need to get out of three engines ASAP. Three engines is getting really grindy uh, really quickly, and it's hard to win without uh, without having Barrage. I mean, if you're not getting times of like 335 plus, um, you know, with whatever you're using, which you, you're not, if you're not get if you don't have Barrage, then, you know, we got to move up and, and get out of there. So that is my plan for right now is to just pour everything um into defenses and go into the four and, and and get the fourth engine so i'm gonna have that uh later today so then um my next video will probably be coming out with um like the the best layouts and stuff for four yards but um the good thing about uh sticking to this path is it allows you to use your tokens and uh well, not necessarily your keys, but it allows you to use your tokens. So as you're grinding up to four engines, we want to be building up our defense, building up our base. And that's going to get us a little bit of a push every time that we do it. It helps just a tiny bit when we get those max machine guns, those max mines, the max boom mines. Um, boom mines were kind of out of the way, but I, I still think they're worth it. Um, so we can pour our upgrades into defenses. That's only going to help us once we get to four engines and beyond. Um, so that's the plan right now. That's the plan. I would suggest to go to four um, if you're watching this and you haven't hit gold yet, go to four, uh, build up your defenses. I'd grab a boom cannon or either the cannons of this multi node, but it's kind of up to you. Um, and yeah, so that's the plan for right now. Now you'll see this base that I'm using. I believe I used it in, um, yesterday's video as well. Um, so sometimes what you'll see happen is when the heavies go from this engine to this engine or vice versa, um, this minefield can actually completely wipe them out. So if you're really struggling at, um, at three engines still, this base is very good. Uh, I would recommend it. Um, but what we're seeing a lot of now is there's a lot of barrage uh, starting to happen, so it's it's getting a little bit trickier to stay afloat um, at you know at, at this rank. So um, yeah, so once we get to four, we should be able to push up to gold pretty easily, and that's the plan for right now. So I hope that helps you guys out. Now let's get into some attacks here and i'll show you what i've been doing in terms of attacking it's been a little bit different 
been a little bit different than yesterday. Um, but there's two things that have helped. I've maxed out troop health, and I maxed out troop damage. Troop damage was huge. That gave me a pretty big boost. Uh, I went from wherever I was at yesterday, I think 11 to, well, I'm at 13 now. So I was able to rank up a couple times just from the troop damage, and I'm going to show you how right here. Um, now, okay, which boat do we want to go off? I think we're going to go off this one. So I'm going to go like this. Uh, typically, I throw a brick in the middle. He's got no defenses over here, so it doesn't matter. Um, but I can tell based on this guy's base that he probably has barrage. So we, I, there's not really much of a chance that we have here. Uh, but we're going to try our best anyway. So here's basically what we want to do. We want to snap those flares engine to engine to engine. Yeah, he definitely had barrage because he took me down in all of 10 seconds. So um, that's what I mean. It's hard to compete right now if you don't have it. There's not really anything you can do. But we can still try our hardest anyways. So go like this. Get a shock right here. I think I'm going to clip some of the heavies. Clip one of them. It's okay. Um, so yeah, even it with a time of 324, uh, it's not gonna be enough. It's not gonna be enough. So we'll watch the replay. Unfortunately, now it's gonna be tempting. It's gonna be tempting. I could have got barrage today, but I opted not to, um, just because uh, it's gonna set us back in the long run. And I mean, we're in iron right now. It's not like okay, yeah, he's definitely. So look at this. He's gonna use barrage on not just one. But two engines. Look at this. Just a joke. Just a joke of an attack. But, you know, it works. So more power to you. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's, you know, what we're contending with. Which is which is tough. Which is tough. So, yeah, it's been a lot of back and forth. I mean, uh, yeah. But that's not to say that you can't win uh, without it for right now. But it's not an effective time to push either. So just keep that in mind if you're losing a lot. Um, just wait. Just hold. Get your chests. You know, um, you don't have to go crazy on the pushing right now. Um, and then once we get to four engines, that's when we're really going to want to turn on the gas and uh, and get up to speed. So one, two, three, four. Throw Bricky out there. But, I mean, if they don't have Barrage, which it's kind of, um, you know, it, it it's going to be more and more as we go on. But... Um, it's kind of 50-50, I would almost say. People that have it versus people that don't. Um, but I'll show you guys how we hit these bases anyways. So we go like this. And the trick here is we just do an extra flare up into the empty space. And if you have the troop damage and the troop health, um, you still need to avoid the mines. But we can go like this. And, uh, just be careful because if I use, uh, I gotta use this extra flare here. Now we can use the battle orders. And throw them all out there, and boom, 318. Now, we want to try to keep Brick alive, obviously. Goes without saying. Um, but her little rocket shot, I'm telling you, it does like a, it, it does a ton of damage, especially if she's got the Battle Orders going at the same time. Uh, let's see, 317. Boom, there it is. All right, so we're able to grease out one. That's what I mean. It, it's, uh, you know, it's not necessarily hang it up completely, um, but it's tricky. It's tricky, and it's not easy. Let's see what this guy's going to do here. Now, it seems like this guy would have barrage. He's free clearing, which is kind of strange. Um, you can do that, too. I mean, if he's got a lot of... Um, the the trick to free clearing with heavies before you rush, like this guy is, this is going to be really cool to see, uh, by the way, once he goes over all the mines. But um, make sure that the defenses are something like mortars, machine guns, a little bit lower level, because then it's not going to take too much time. Like, if he's got level 1 mortars, like the guy we saw in the first attack... Um, that's an easy 6 GB that's really not going to cost you any extra time. So let's let's put this into slow-mo and just kind of zoom in and watch this here. This is going to be great. Watch these heavies just... Oh my god, they're just melting. But you see, he had so much damage there. That actually won us the, uh, the match for sure. Um, he had so much damage there with the heavies, he was able to walk all the way through all those mines. So there we go, back up to 13. But, and you see there as well... Uh, even though we're win-lose, 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 since we're in such low ranks, we're not losing uh, 10 stars every battle. We're losing, like, I, I don't know exactly. I'll have to look at the next one. But I think we're losing, like, 6, 7, 8. Um, so you play, you know, you play four battles and you win-lose, win-lose. Um, <clears throat> you're still gaining stars. It's only, like, a couple, but you're still gaining. So something to keep in mind. Um, okay, so for this one, I think we're good just to go kind of straight at it. I like launching from this ramp. I find it's a little bit faster um, than coming up straight from the bottom because it it has the heavies kind of already like over here. 
So then going up to that next engine, they're like a little bit ahead, kind of. Oof. Okay, there we go. That was scary timing, but uh, we got it. Um, now try to use the battle orders, you know, at the best point. It's hard to say exactly when that is for every, uh, like just in general. Um, let's go like this. Let's get another battle orders off. There we go. Um, now since his mines were spread out, I knew we were going to be going to be able to just straight run right across all of them. Opponent has retreated. There we go. That's what we like to see. So, it's not impossible. It's not impossible. But, um, yeah, let's take a quick look at this replay. Um, <clears throat> it's not impossible to win right now, but it, it, it's just if you come up against... Wait a sec. Oh, we beat a barrage guy? Oh, man. So satisfying. So satisfying. Ah, shout out to 2-4 Recon Dad. No match for the code chicken. Guys, I hope that helps you out. Um, that's the next tech path. Tech is very, very important this season. It's a shortened season. We have less keys, less tokens, which makes every decision that much more crucial. So it's very important to have a plan. Um, if you haven't already, make sure you join the uh, the Discord server. You can throw up your tech tree. I'll try to help you out or get someone that can. Um, check that out. Link in description. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. That is going to wrap up the video today. Make sure to leave a like if you found it interesting, entertaining, or informative. And we'll see you next one, guys. Chicken out. Back, back.